Welcome back to New Comic Book Day. Today is Wednesday, March 16th, 2016. We are Rainbow Comics, Cards, and Collectibles, located at 3310 South Minnesota Avenue here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, uh, and everywhere on the World Wide Web. Be sure to follow us on Facebook. We're starting to put a lot more live video up on Facebook. Uh, we do live box breaks of our sports trading cards uh, at times as well as obviously the new comic book wall and we have a weekly comic book show Wednesdays at noon where we feature live music uh, usually from local artists raised by badgers um, we'll get right into it we do have a there's quite a few good comic books out this week uh, first we'll start off with some cool trade paperbacks that are out this week. We've got the uh, coloring book from DC, Batman, Med Love, featuring Harley Quinn. So an adult coloring book, which are really cool, of course. Get to color in your own comic book. We've got Batman, Volume 7, Endgame. We've got Beauty. In trade paperback. Captain America and the Falcon. The complete collection. Be a good read. Before Civil War comes out. The Lady of Shadows. From Marvel. The Dark Tower. The drawing of the three. Uh, of course Stephen King. The Dark Tower. On that. From Nickelodeon. Avatar, The Last Airbender. And we've got a Marvel Fact Files. We've got several of those, actually. Grab another one here, show you. Just kind of an example here, the Marvel Fact Fire, file, Mar Marvel Fact Files. Just kind of all kinds of cool information about your favorite Marvel superheroes, villains, Oh, there's a cool one. Fact Files number 100. Ah, The Punisher with uh, Daredevil, of course, is set to come out this Friday. I'm kind of surprised they didn't time a Daredevil comic. I don't see, no. There's no Daredevil comic or Punisher comic, actually. So this Friday, of course, is the big day for that. Um, getting right into... Comics for the Weeks from Top Cow, the 13th Artifact. This is a one-shot from Top Cow and Image, the 13th Artifact. From IDW, Three Devils, number one. From Kaboom, Adventure Time, Ice King, number three of six. A good one for the kiddos here from IDW, Angry Birds Comics. And uh, the nice thing about live video, too, is if you guys have any questions, you can uh, write a comment, and we'll be able to uh, answer it live. Archer and Armstrong, number one, from Valiant. Assassin's Creed, number six, from Titan Comics uh, and Ubisoft, the video game. This has been a really good series, Assassin's Creed. The Astonishing Ant-Man, number six. Batman and Robin Eternal, number 24. From DC Comics as well, Black Canary, issue number 9. Ah, Captain Canuck, all new classic. Captain Canuck, number 0. From Chapter House Comics, Canadian Comics, some really cool artwork in that. I know there are some Canadians who watch our show, so there you go. Captain Marvel, number three. Clean Room from Vertigo Comics, issue number six. And, of course, there's nobody hotter than Deadpool right now. This is uh, Deadpool, the Mercs for Money, number two from Marvel. 
Devolution, number three from Dynamite Comics. Doctor Who, the Eighth Doctor, number five. From EA Bioware, Dark Horse Comics, Dragon Age, Mage Killer, number four. Ghostbusters one shot in a world where the Ghostbusters never crossed streams. Green Arrow, number 50 from DC Comics. Ah, my favorite, Huck. Of course, a little take here on the Ghostbusters. The Huck, bu Huck Busters. Um, Huck, number five, is out. My personal favorite comic that's out right now is Huck from Mark Millar. Just love the art and really love the story on that. Also from uh, Raphael Albuquerque, of course. Forgot to mention him. The Infinity Entity, number two, from Marvel. All new Inhumans, number five. Of course, followed up by the Uncanny Inhumans, number six. Injection from Image Comics. Huh. Injustice from DC, The Gods Among Us, year five, number six. Ah, one I've been looking forward to. Of course, from Brian Bendis, International Iron Man, number one. Have to check that out. I'll definitely be reading this one this week. James Bond. Barger from Dynamite. This is issue number five. James Bond. Jonesy, number two of four from Boombox. Ah, for you DC Comics, Legends of Tomorrow, the uh, cool show. Well, some days it's cool, some days it's not as cool, but on um, Thursday nights from CW, if you like Legends of Tomorrow, check it out. This is number one. It's almost like a uh, trade paperback. Fairly comprehensive. From Dynamite Comics, Lords of the Jungle, number one. Featuring Tarzan and Sheena. Ha, ha, ha. Lost in Space, doo, doo, doo. Adventure, The Lost Adventures, Issue 1. That is from American Gothic Press. Low, Issue number 12, from Image Comics. From Vertigo Comics, we've got Lucifer, number 4. From DC Comics, Martian Manhunter. Featuring our own John Jones, number 10. Ah, another good, really cool comic. I love the artwork in this from Marjorie Liu and Sana Tanak Takat Takeda. <laughs> uh, Image Comics, issue number four of Monstrous. Check out the really cool artwork on that. I just love this comic. Ah, speaking of comics that people love, my nine-year-old daughter, My Little Pony, issue number 26, Friends Forever. It's been a really good series, actually. Poison Ivy from DC Comics. This is issue number three. Power Man and Iron Fist. Seems like issue number one just came out not that long ago. This is issue number two. Power Man and Iron Fist. Of course, they are each going to get their own Netflix TV show. So you might want to catch up on that. Robin, Son of Batman, issue number 10. Monadic. I think it's Monadic. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it. Issue number one from Image. Looks like some really cool artwork. And looks like an interesting story. Probably have to add that one to my list. 
Santinia, the goddess kiss, or Santeria, excuse me, number one from Aspen Comics. Hmm. Looks like another cool one. Scarlet Witch. Uh, somebody was asking a question about Scarlet Witch. There is a Scarlet Witch comic book out. This is issue number four in that series. I'll have to check, but it wouldn't surprise me if we have all three back issues of Scarlet Witch as well. Marvel, Silk, issue number six. From DC Comics, Sinestro, number 21. Back to Marvel, Spider-Woman, issue number five. As you uh, may or may not have been aware, Spider-Woman was pregnant. Looks like she has got her post-pregnancy going on there. Squadron Supreme, number five. Star Trek Starfleet Academy, issue number four. Uh, pretty cool Star Wars magazine here from Disney and Titan Comics. This is Jedi Master. We also have Star Wars Insider out this week. So, wow, check out some of the cool stuff inside this. From Star Wars Jedi Master. Continuing right on, a pretty popular Star Wars comic. Star Wars Kanan, issue number 12. That's, of course, uh, goes into the history of Kanan from Star Wars Rebels on Disney XD. Star-Lord, issue number 5 from Marvel. Star-Brand and Nightmask, number 4 from Marvel. Oh, I see we got a question here. How's that Robin, son of Batman, to be honest with you? I don't read that one. I believe Derek does. Um, maybe I'll ask him a few more questions and get back to you on that in the comments here later. Starve, issue number 7. From Image. Ah, Superman. The polybag. I grabbed the polybag version of this. And then also Superman Wonder Woman. DC's been doing a lot of these. Where they put it in a polybag, you're not totally sure of the color, of the cover that you're going to get. It could be a really cool variant cover that you get. Uh, it's for the same price. Issue number 50, Superman. We've got a lot of Superman comics out this week. Superman American Alien. Of course, a lot of people, this is Max Landis, uh, they really like this version of Superman American Alien. I've been reading Superman Lois and Clark, and I think I might have to go back and read Superman American Alien. I uh, want to talk really quick. Look at the price on that. This is one buck. Superman Unchained, DC Comics Essentials. So we'll have that uh, for a buck. We also do have a lot of Superman and Batman comic books on our $1 cheap comic wall. Superman from DC Comics, issue number two, coming of the coming of the Supermen. I read issue number one. It was pretty good. So we'll see what uh, issue two is all about. Superman Wonder Woman, the polybag version on this as well. This is issue number 27 of Superman Wonder Woman. Symmetry, number four, from Top Cow and Image. From IDW, Transformers, issue 51, All Hail Optimus. Turncoat, number one of four from Boom Studios. I'll have to open this one up. This one might, I might need to add this one to my list to read for the week. Some pretty cool, different art in that. Web Warriors, Protectors of the Spider-Verse from Marvel Comics, issue number five. All new X-Men, issue number six. And Extraordinary X-Men, issue number eight. X-Men, Apocalypse Wars. <coughs> it's cool. 
Sorry about that. Excuse, excuse me. Live video is great. Um, Apocalypse. X-Men Apocalypse. There's supposed to be a new trailer out tomorrow on St. Patrick's Day. So I'll be out on St. Patrick's Day watching my daughter do some Irish dance. Partaking of a few Irish beverages at the local pubs. And having some fun. Um, also, tomorrow, look for our team recommendations of the week that come out Thursday morning. And, of course, turn back here at noon. We will be live with our uh, weekly comic book show this afternoon at noon central time. So be sure to look for that. And, uh, again, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, send us a message or comment, and we'll get back to you. Thanks, and have a great week.